What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Ashra in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks to be aware of, some best strategies to put in place, and of course, some fun and easy combos that you can learn today. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is gonna be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching can understand what we're saying. First and foremost with Astra, you wanna get used to playing a stance character. And not necessarily because her physical stance changes, but she has a light mode and she's got a dark mode. Now, why might you be going back and forth between light and dark? Well, Astra's moves change depending on what mode you're in. For an example, we had this projectile down forward one. As you can see, it's an actual projectile when in light mode, it only goes about half screen, so not all the way unless you meter burn it. But down back one puts us in dark mode. Okay, now we're in dark stance. Now, our projectile is a bit different. You can see it's a low hitting move, which is great. And we can change the distance of that move far or close to us by holding forward or back. So when we're in dark mode, let's do down forward one and hold close. You'll see it's close to us, but our opponent's far away. So we want to hold forward. And now we get the low far projectile. Not only do your special moves change properties depending on what stance you're in, but when we're in dark mode, let's go ahead and say we do our down back two special move here. That more or less stays the same, but you see what's on our opponent right now. They have three dark counters on them. What does that do? If we change back to light, down back one, and we do the same attack, down back two, our light moves are doing more damage depending on how many dark counters our opponent has on them. So really the game plan here is to go to dark mode, do your combos, do your thing, get those dark counters on your opponent, switch back, and then do the same thing, but now you're doing more damage because they have dark counters on them. So for a quick example, I'll show you. Let's go ahead and do our forward four two into our down back two special move here. We'll do the full thing here so you can see the damage that we do with no dark counters. We do 147.99, so let's call it 148. Let's put dark counters on our opponent here. Okay, they have three dark counters, so now let's switch back and do the same combo. 202.14. So we're doing over 50 more damage when they have dark counters on them. So if you want to up your damage, you got to be switching back and forth between light and dark. That's going to be the main strategy with Ostrich. Kind of deciding, okay, what situation am I in? How and when can I get into dark mode? And then once you do, make your game plan from there, do your combos as you wish. And then as soon as you can, go back to light and do your thing. Now go into the bread and butter of Ostra, her normals, her specials, her combos. She only has a handful of combo strings that you're gonna be utilizing the most for her overhead options. She's got a couple here. You got four, two like we just did. And that leads into specials like down forward three or down back two. Great way to get an overhead hit confirm into a special. But also what's really cool, we have a really good normal with our forward three. As you can see there, we leap pretty high and that can also cancel into special moves like our down back two. So we got a couple good overhead options and Ostra has a couple low options as well, such as our back three. As you can see, they're decent range, but again, we can cancel that into special moves as well. We also have two, two, that's a low. And that also cancels into special moves. So you can do two, two down back two. And all of these combos work in dark mode too. We got our dark counter, switch back, go for the overhead. Basically, once you see your opponent have the three dark counters on them, you want to switch back to light mode as soon as you can. To go over Ashra's most consistent combo starters, you have your forward four two as an overhead. You got forward three for an overhead, and you got two two for a low, and you got back three for a low. And forward two is pretty good. The reason why it steps you forward and it has a really good range on it, it's not an overhead or a low, but it can be canceled. So I like using that when I have the range for it. Ashra has a one two two combo that puts your opponent in the air, not high enough for air combos but again you can cancel into specials like down back two or down forward three as you see there our down forward three is an upward swinging sword motion that when enhanced puts us in the air for air combo that's really Ashra's only move to get your opponent in the air for air combos we have one two 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 one and two two three none of these combos by the way bounce your opponent on the ground for ground combos continuation they're more or less just air combo enders but she does have a good air special and we'll show you how that looks so if we put our opponent in the air with our enhanced down forward three we can do our one two two in the air as you can see our opponent lands kind of far away and we don't land soon enough to continue the combo down forward three enhanced and then two one same thing. Down forward three, enhance in the air, then two, two, three. Same thing. They all kind of just end. There's no, it's not really a shot for you to like do stuff once you land. Your best bet is to finish that off with your air special back forward two, and that can be on the ground as well. So to show you how that looks, down forward three, enhance, one, two, two, back forward two. 
pretty decent combo, right? But a side note with that back 4-2 special move, that changes quite a bit in dark mode. So you see in light mode, it's just a nice hit, right? You can hold two, by the way, and travel full screen. Because if you don't hold it, it doesn't go all the way. Let's go ahead and go into dark mode here and then do our back 4-2 and hold it. As you see here, this is more of a mobility tool at this point. We don't actually hit our opponent. In dark mode and you do that back forward too, you can hold down during the travel and it does hit. You're gonna be using your back forward too in dark mode, mainly for mobility tools. You switch sides with your opponent, cross them up, switch sides and then grab them. And the same thing goes for in the air, because we tried in the air. We're just gonna travel. So if you wanna have better mobility, go to dark mode, go full screen, hold it, get in their face, then go for a combo. That's a great strategy as well. And then again, switch back to light and do your thing. For wake up attacks, Asha's got a couple options here. First and foremost is that back forward too, because that does get armor. And here's how that looks. Aside from that, I like waking up with down back too. It's just a really good get off me tool. Or if you're feeling pretty ballsy, wake up with down forward three with hands for the air combo. Also not a bad option, depending on whatever the situation calls for. Now, as we get into the combos, my dudes, keep in mind that the combos you're gonna see are gonna do more damage if they have dark counters on them. Just something to be aware of. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into some quick and easy combos to get you started with Ashra today. Guys, let me know what you think of Ashra down below in the comments. Do you like her? Do you hate her? Subscribe here for more fighting game content. Take it one step at a time.